Hello Team Pisces, it's Empire333 here with your love reading. Welcome back and welcome if you're new. I hope you're all safe and well wherever you are in the world. This reading is for wherever Pisces is, is in your chart, okay? Or wherever, um, I mean, whoever is dealing with the Pisces. Um, welcome cross watchers. So um, this will not resonate with everybody on planet Earth. Keep that in mind. Thank you for all your likes, shares, comments, subscribes, and booking personal readings with me. Let's get into it. So um, if you're new, I do feminine side and I do masculine side, okay? So pick whichever side you're on, whichever side resonates, and you will... Um, um, no, whatever you need to know, okay? That will clarify some things, okay? Keep in mind it's just um, energy, not gender-based, okay? So, Pisces, what I feel like is that you are, um, you're in between isolation, okay? Kind of going within some of your practicing meditation, you're practicing prayers, rituals, and so forth, Um and what's happening here is that, per, yeah, I'm getting a lot of you are praying or doing some type of um, like a healing process, which is great. The thing here is that you keep going between um, going within and then stressing out. So some of you are like, for example, when you are, you know, going within and you know, meditating or whatever, you're okay. And then I feel that you're, you're moody. So you're okay when you're here. And then maybe two hours later when you're not, it's like things come to your head again and you're being triggered. You're getting um, worried and stressed out of things that have hurt you. Um, this is very sword energy I'm getting here. And uh, it's affecting you in a way where you feel moody, okay? And what Spirit is saying here is that um, try to connect with Spirit every time you're having this kind of energy where, you know, triggers are coming up to be released. Because some of you are, when you're in this space, you're in such a great, like, peaceful state. And then what's happening is these triggers are coming up, but they are coming up to be released. Remember that? And also... Um, this is because, how should I say this? Some of you just can't fathom why this person that you're dealing with, like you can't fathom why they're treating you a certain way. It's so hard for you to believe. And you have to ex like accept is what spirit is saying is how they are treating you. It doesn't, it's not that it's justified or that they should be. It's just that, some of you are having an issue with understanding why they did that, okay? So I feel that like acceptance is playing um, a big part here when it comes to your healing process. And some of you might be seeing the number 999 or 99, um, a lot of number nines, and that is because there's a cycle closing. And it has a lot to do with this person because some of you are really holding on to a pain about this person or whatever like heartache or how they treated you, their behavior is what I'm getting. And it's good because you're moving on from that. So spirit is definitely with you at this time, helping you move on, okay? Move on from the swords and the in back, like kind of like, how should I say it? Every time you think of this person, it throws you off, Pisces, okay? If this is you or Crosswatcher, I don't know. But um, let me know in the comments. And here we have the masculine energy. The masculine energy, what I'm picking up from the your masculine is that they have childhood issues, like inner child issues. They could have been come, you know, brought up in a family where there was issues when it has to do with control, okay? And that's why they have control issues. Kind of like, okay, um, oh, okay. It's, it's through the ego. So what I'm getting is like, okay, um, if you try to take control, I'll take control 10 times over you. It's like that kind of feeling. If they feel that someone is trying to control them, it's like they go into their lower ego and it's not pretty, you know? 
and it has a lot to do with the way they grew up is what I'm getting. They could have been in a very um, strict family for some of you where it was like, for some of them where it was like, um, they had authoritative parents that like they took control of everything and this person had no say in anything. And that's why in their adult life now, in their connections, they try to control things. And it's, it's really um, like... It's not from a great space, okay? It's more of a space of, like, um, I'm going to outdo you. I'm going to try to control you because, you know, I, I never felt, you know, I always felt people were trying to control me all my life, okay? So um, this person does have issues with that. That's what I'm getting. And they have to work on those issues. Maybe this person didn't even have a childhood is what I'm getting for some, like, they weren't a kid when they were supposed to be a kid, okay? Um, and that, it has, that's brought up issues about them trying to control situations, okay? And what they think being in control is and what they think being powerful is. So this person has a lot of issues when it comes to um, controlling, it's, it's, it's interesting. Okay. The, I mean, power is what I'm saying. They have issues when what, what is the definition of power? Okay. But, um, this person here, I do feel that they're so focused on whatever project work, whatever it is that they're doing. Okay. And, um, let's see, let's get into it further guys. Deeper. I should say, let's get into the masculine energies with this first deck here. <laughs> I'm laughing because I, I keep getting double readings, like double um, confirmations when it has to do with the cards, with people's energies, especially this, this cycle, this moon cycle, okay? So let's see. All right. Yeah. Yeah, and that's what makes your person not open up to you. For some of you who have issues, this person has issues with opening up their feelings, expressing their love, and whatnot. It has a lot to do with their family upbringing, okay? Um, yeah, so here it is again. This is the strength card in reverse, which is the same thing here, okay? The same thing. So we have someone who does have, you know... Um, control issues okay and every time it's like maybe in the past Pisces you told this person like how they should be doing things and they took it as like you're gonna you're not gonna control me okay so this person here there's a lot of conflict around them I do feel like this person um there's a lot of changes this person needs to make but like on to move better and forward, but they're having issues because I do feel like there's people around them that are keeping them from learning what they're supposed to learn, healing what they're supposed to heal, okay? And this person is not, I don't feel like this person is in communication with you right now. Um, they're going through some kind of issues okay when it comes to their environment people surrounding them and this has a lot to do with them not being happy happy and stable where they are so some of you are dealing with someone who doesn't have anything to vow for so it's kind of like like their love life is not going anywhere their career is not going anywhere their home life is not happy so a lot of instability i'm getting and it has a lot to do with this person um, not getting the help that they need to heal, okay? Heal those issues from childhood that is actually affecting their life and with the people that they still associate with. So I'm getting people, I'm getting drama, I'm getting like um, chaotic energy from people. Maybe people are still trying to control them somehow, some way. But I feel that they really miss you because some of them think of you as the empress energy. They miss that. So you could have been the caring person that was always there for them. And now they feel like you're not there for them, Pisces. Um, like, where's my empress? 
like I think this person that you were dealing with really expected you to be there forever. And some of you have already pulled back your energy and walked away from them, okay? So let's see the feminine energy here. All right, I have to match this. Hold on, guys. Ooh, all right. Okay, so I do feel like for some of you, you could have met someone new or someone new is coming in, okay, into your life. And this person um, is going to help you heal in some way, okay? So this does not have to be a romantic partner, guys, okay? This could be anybody. This could be like a counselor, a mentor, um, like a spiritualist, um, a reader, like or a channel like myself, for example. It could be someone who is helping you with how to grow, how to evolve, what things you need to learn in your healing process on your spiritual journey, okay? Some of you are going to be offered, um, I know this is going uh, elsewhere, but I have to say it. some of you are going to be offered a new opportunity, which is a job that will help you further, okay, um, with moving past all this stuff that, um, moving past the, the stress, the, um, for some of you, there's a lot of disbelief that I'm feeling with you, like you're believing like, oh my God, people have been using me for such a long time. Like people have been taking advantage of me. Um, someone to help you heal that, okay? And what I feel here is that some of you are thinking like, I'm not even getting any news from this person. Like they're not even reaching out to me. For some of you, that is still bothering you, okay? Because what I feel is that for some of you, you did want to, you wanted this. You wanted the Ten of Pentacles, you wanted the, you know, the commitment with this person or something that's like long term and you haven't received any feedback from this person. I do feel like they're still stuck in whatever situation that they're stuck in. Um, the mindset, that's what I'm getting. Their mindset is still the same. Okay. And that really bothers you. Okay. So I feel like this person that you've been dealing with is not in their, they're not ready for commitment, okay? They're not ready. And <clears throat> some of you are having a really hard time with letting that go, okay? Um, but I do feel like eventually you will let that go. Let me see one thing real quick here. Why is the Prince of Cups here? Let's be masculine. Okay. Um, I feel like your person will reach out with reach out to you. Okay. They will reach out um, after they deal with whatever they need to deal with. I do feel like it has to do with money or a home issue, Pisces. And what I'm getting with this energy is that you know what's so interesting? They feel at home with you, okay? But this person doesn't make you feel like you know, home. So this person is very comfortable with you, but they've realized lately that you've been pulling your energy back. And I think that's what's going to make them reach out. Okay. But it's so weird because it's so uncomfortable for them now because they used to be so comfortable with you. You know what I mean? They used to find comfort in speaking to you and for you always being there for them. And they know that they haven't been there for you for a while. And what I'm getting here is that they want to reach out to you. They want to send out the sweet, you know, a sweet, kind gesture or whatever. But at the same time, they don't know if that's going to fly by you anymore. Okay. Because some of you are going to think like, oh, this is just BS. Like, what do you need? You know, 
it's that kind of energy. And I feel like this person has been stuck for such a long time. For some of you, this person definitely is having financial issues, okay? However, that resonates with your situation. But what I feel here is that since you're no longer waiting, that's what's going to make this person come towards you, okay? That's going to make them reach out. Let me see one more thing. I'm being nosy here. Why is this here? Yeah, you're no longer holding on to this person. You're letting them go. And I think that's what's shifting this person to come towards you because you make them feel too comfortable in the past, Pisces. And I'm not throwing shade. I'm just letting you know what Spirit is saying. I'm just a messenger. Some of you did make this person feel way too comfortable with you. It's like they felt like their home. So it, it because this person has control issues as it, and they're in the ego, the lower parts of the ego, they're like, okay, I could do whatever I want. You know, that kind of energy. Hold on. What is this? Page of Pentacles. Yeah. They feel at home with you. I keep getting that. Ooh, I like this. I really like this. Okay, yeah. Yes, finally. Okay, wonderful. Okay, yep. All right, so I feel that you're going to finally surrender. Um, what I'm getting here is that as you heal your heart space and you heal, you know, all these things this person is get, giving, all the swords, look at this, look at all the swords here, okay? After you heal this, you're going to surrender. You're going to surrender and you're going to say, you know what, it's over, okay? Because you're no longer going to hold on to this. This is a lot of baggage you've been carrying around for a long time, Pisces, or feminine, whoever you are, okay? Um, I feel that as you go within and you are, you're eliminating a lot of people out of your life that you've realized that have been taking advantage of you, including this person, taking your sweetness um, for weakness, okay? How kind you are, how caring you are, and you're going to like really... Um, Go within and realize all the things about yourself and what value you bring, and you're going to shine your light brighter, okay? I feel like a lot of people have been um, tugging at your light is what I'm getting, okay? Bringing you down. Um, if they're down, bringing you down, or whatever it is, all the things you've done for people in the past, I feel like they pulled you down with them. And now as you are, you know, going within, you're in hermit mode, you're not really associating with the people you used to associate with. You're realizing a lot of things. A lot of truths are coming up that are ugly for some of you. But you're just surrendering. You're like, I'm done with this. I deserve better. I don't need to carry other people's baggage around with me. This is not mine, right? Um, and you're just putting your foot down. And like, I'm not going to let people hurt me anymore. That's it. I'm not. Look at this. Coming out of all the swords energy. It's done. It's over. No more people. Like It's like you're done with all the betrayal and the backstabbing. And you're like, I'm not going to do this anymore. I'm going to follow the light. Okay? Wherever that takes me. All right? I love this energy, by the way. Because, and then I feel like some of you are just surrendering it also that this person is not going to commit. Like, that's how you feel. Like, some of you are just finding acceptance with that, that this person is not going to commit. They're not committal for a lot of you. Okay, is what I'm picking up on. Yeah. Ooh. Wow. Oh my God. Okay. I love this. Yeah, all the inaction, the stuckness, you know, this is the five of wands energy, all the conflicts. I feel like they're just being wiped out as you surrender, Pisces. And also, um, that's going to 
put you in a, it's going to make you close the doors to the past. Okay. That's what spirit is saying. Finally closing the door and doors of the past, surrendering to spirit, all these things. All, like, it's kind of like you're throwing off, you're releasing all this burden, this you've been carrying around. Okay. All the swords, all the wands, you know. You're releasing it all. It's like a full release. It's like a catharsis is what I'm getting. Wow. This is major energy. And what Spirit is saying here is like, this is what you ultimately want, right? This is the two of cups here. You ultimately want this togetherness, this union, this beautiful spiritual union with someone. You could have wanted it with this person. And Spirit is saying, it's like, you got to release this from the energies from this person. And this is coming in. Letting go of the past, releasing it all. Okay, so that's what's this is what's coming in for you. As long as you do what what spirit is saying, surrendering. Because I'm I did like whoever surrenders, you know, puts the cycles to the end, um, heals the heart space, getting out of this prison, you know, forgiveness, release, surrender, and this is coming in. Okay, Pisces, this is beautiful energy. I know it's been a long road for you, but you're finally moving on from all this. And it's beautiful. This is what's waiting for you, okay? And I can't tell you if it's, you know, this is not a personal reading, if it's with this person or with you. I mean, with someone new. <laughs> with you, definitely. You're you're all learning to love yourself more, okay? And value yourself more, definitely. But um, Spirit is saying, yeah, as you work more on your self-love and releasing, healing, surrendering, this is coming in for you. Two of Cups. This is beautiful energy, okay? This is a soulful um, union between two people, a beautiful connection, okay? So I hope that you have enjoyed this. I hope this has brought clarity for you. If it has, let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like this video and also subscribe if you already haven't. I wish you all the best. And I will see you all soon. Peace out.